Dr. Monsieur le Président. Uh, I would like to ask you, Mr. Uh, on my back, that uh, it was a question posed by uh, one of my Hungarian colleagues, Mr. Karmar, that uh, he mentioned that uh, he feels it's scandalous that uh, you uh, didn't focus on uh, uh, much efforts on the uh, protection of uh, rights of national communities. I think I, I, I agree with that. Uh, uh, I, I, th I would like to think, uh, I would like to ask you whether, uh, why uh, uh, haven't you uh, concentrated on the efforts, uh, for example, to special communities living in Romania, the Hungarian community, secular, almost one million people without ter territory autonomy. I think it's more important than the uh, uh, rights of uh, gay and lesbian people. Thanks. First, we don't make that kind of comparisons. Uh, we think there is a justification for doing both and not knocking one out by the other. Uh, when it comes to the Hungarian minority in Romania, I think you should ask the question to the Romanian government whether I have raised this issue or not. Uh, uh, I have. Uh, in fact, I think you are on the wrong track when you try to uh, spread a message that we haven't done anything on national minorities. It's one of the key priorities we've had. Do read our reports about this. Do read the, uh, the special communications I have written on this and, and various aspects when it comes to language, recognition, the possibilities to vote, etc. All this is there. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure that you have read the text before you voice this concern. And I'm sure that Mr. Musnix, who will succeed me, will pay especially attention from this. He has, after all, been the president or the chair of the ECRI uh, against racism. Uh, and other intolerance, and he is very much on the same line as I have been, as my director has been, and the whole office has been. This is an important part, and, and come up with good proposals. We are very much open to do even more in this field. 